you think about teachers, teachers are probably the ultimate caregivers and caretakers. You know, teachers do not punch a clock. Teachers don't show up at seven o'clock in the morning or eight o'clock in the morning, go home at four o'clock in the afternoon. Teachers work weekends. People say, I wanna be a teacher so I can have summers off. Teachers don't have summers off. Teachers work all summer. Teachers are right now at a conference. They're here with us for national educators. They're enjoying three days of professional development just because they want to. I'm Dolores Coney, and I work in the Clean Independent School District at Sagard Elementary, where I am an at-risk school counselor. As a school counselor at Sagard, we do work with the entire population, which means we work with the kids as well as the students and the parents and any stakeholder as well. After I was introduced to restorative practices, I see that it's very beneficial with helping a teacher to work with a student or a group of students who may have persistent misconduct, also help the teacher build rapport and relationship with that student or students. Everybody says make a connection, connect with kids, but not everybody knows how. Even great teachers sometimes struggle with the how, and so for me, it was really important to give teachers those tools, to give them the skills so they can make connections with kids. My favorite thing so far has definitely been the breakout groups and being able to learn the vocabulary that goes with all the different techniques, but how to actually implement it on the campus. And that's what this training is all about, giving teachers the tools that they need so they can impact positively across our campus and their district. I have personally bought into and professionally have bought into restorative practices and yeah, I'm, I'm all for it.